We are taking this one with us. What has he done to you? I can't lose another Tenno. I'm surging your Warframe's power systems. Hey everybody, how you guys doing today? My name is Nick, otherwise known here as Valence, and welcome back to Warframe. So I actually found out that Xbox One got access to Warframe today as a free downloadable title via their little indie program they have going. So it is available on the Xbox One if you haven't downloaded it already. It is there for free. This is a free-to-play game, and it's actually one of the games that I've supported uh, by backing when it was in alpha and beta. And this is one thing I don't do very often. Warframe was actually the first game that I decided to back. I ended up spending, I think, $75 for a Founders Pack, and I had a really good time doing so. I mean, Warframe has been a very interesting game. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Warframe is, it's set in space. You have the Tenno, who are your faction, going against various uh, factions in the world that are trying to take over the solar system in, you know, a, a crazy science fiction future. So think about Space Ninjas, think about four-player co-op, as well as some competitive co-op, and very big clans that you can actually join with your friends. It's a lot of fun, and the loot system is similar to something like you'd see in Diablo, Diablo 2 mainly. We're going to be farming a lot of loot and a lot of resources to build specific things, uh, such as blueprints, which you will throw together to make new Warframes, for example. Since it is free to play, there is a cash shop, but it also has one of the friendliest systems for those of you who don't want to spend actual money towards the game, which I really embrace, and one of the reasons I really support this game is because you are able to achieve almost everything just by putting the time and effort into farming it, while buying it obviously will give it to you immediately via their in-game currency called Platinum. Now, I personally played Warframe on the PC, always have, uh, honestly I always will, and I'll talk about that here in a second, but playing Warframe on the PC... PC, I, I really had a good time with it. I played it on a lower-end PC, and then when I got my higher-end PC and my new graphics card, I was able to bump it up. And uh, we'll do a visual comparison throughout this video. So in the top right-hand, left-hand corner, I'm not sure where I'll put it. I may even put it on the bottom left-hand corner. I'll let you guys know what footage you're watching, whether it's Xbox One or whether it's PC. And you'll notice a very, very staunch difference. Noticeably, you're going to see frame rate problems. And this is the one thing I had an issue with. Now, I personally haven't played Warframe on the PS4. However, I did watch one of my friends, Chris, play it. And Chris showed it to me, and the frame rate seemed a hell of a lot more stable than what it is on the Xbox One. I don't know if this is a version issue or something that's going on with the Xbox One's hardware. I'm honestly disappointed, though, because a game like Warframe should be able to run on the Xbox One at a steady 60 frames a second with the lower graphic settings it's on. So I don't know if it's a coding issue or what, but I'm hoping that they really resolve this, and I'm sure you guys will notice this when you're going into the game. A couple of reported problems have been, you know, lag when you're doing cooperative game modes, uh, some desync as well, and I think that's just because the game did just launch today. Obviously, they were more solidified when it came to the PS4 because that version is fantastic and they've been working on it since the PS4's release. So Xbox One is following suit now, and I'm happy to see Warframe on Xbox One. However, uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a letdown to see that it's not as polished as the PS4 version, especially after all this time. Now, that being said, many of you guys are probably wondering, what the hell do I do in Warframe? Uh, first of all, you're going to go through a series of tutorial quests, which I'm very happy you're in here. They were added via update 14, if I'm not mistaken, and these tutorial quests will guide you through picking a primary weapon, picking a secondary weapon, things of that nature. But uh, these weapons that you pick are going to affect your character. So if you're looking at getting started on the Xbox One version of Warframe, there's a couple things you ought to know. Uh, stealth combat in this game is interesting. It's not going to be used a lot. Most of the Warframes are going to be doing direct damage and not worrying about stealth mechanics or things like that. However, the bow and the kunai are a very solid weapon. You'll have a primary, a secondary, and a melee. Uh, from the the melee weapons you can pick three at the get-go one's a bow staff which isn't too great one is dual fists so just you know power gloves is the way i like to look at them and then the other one is a uh, skana which is a single-handed katana that's my personal favorite to use uh just deals out the most damage uh from the get-go in my eyes it just hits fast enough deals the most damage you guys going to be able to pick a secondary weapon you'll be able to choose between a pistol which is the lotto the i believe um I can't remember the name of it. It's an automatic pistol. It's got the longer clip. And then the kunai. And the kunai are throwing daggers. They're my personal favorite. Uh, I recommend those. While you will want to get like AK lottos, which are dual welding lottos, and AK of the, uh, or dual welding, you know, the uh, submachine gun pistol. It's really up to you, but I honestly prefer the kunai. You can easily farm the other ones later down the road. Now, when you pick your, you know, your weapons, you also get a primary weapon too. I recommend the bow, although you can go for the machine gun. 
uh, or the shotgun, I believe, is in there. But I personally recommend the Paris Bow. It's my favorite. It's a one-hit kill for a lot of the early levels and extremely, extremely powerful with a new character. Now, you will be able to pick from three frames. I ended up going with Volt. Uh, there's Excalibur as well. He's easy for new players to play, very focused on offensive abilities, whereas Volt's more of a caster, and he has a weaker value. So each Warframe's going to have three values, two of which are represented on the upper right-hand corner of the screen you're watching right now. You have your shield values, your health values, represented by blue and red, respectively. And then you also have an armor value. This will increase as you rank up your specific frame, uh, and you'll be able to equip modifications that will actually allow you to... Uh, alter these and boost these. So that process is explained in this tutorial. I'm not going to go into it here in this video. But if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Uh, outside of that, you know, I just going between the PC and the Xbox One footage, I'm sure you're noticing a difference. Now, granted, I do have a pretty good graphics card, and it is running on max settings. But the Xbox One ru is running on about half of half maybe pushing 60-70% of what my PC is running on Max. So it's very surprising the Xbox One can't keep up with the hardware. Again, I think this is an issue that uh, will be resolved. I honestly think it's just because the version hit. And the fact that the version came out of nowhere and we didn't really have a lot of news about, oh, hey, Warframe's coming out on Tuesday, September 2nd. Uh, very interesting. So I was kind of surprised by that. Overall, the Xbox One version's okay. Uh, if you have a PS4 or if you have a PC, I highly recommend you play on PC if you have a computer that can run run it. However, it's a great free-to-play shooter, and I definitely think it deserves your support. Um, there's tons of features in here. If you guys have any questions about any of them, I'll be happy to fill in as much as I can uh, in the comments below. So just ask them. I'll be happy to fill in any information you guys got, uh, well, I guess you guys need from me. And uh, if you enjoyed this little video talking about the difference and talking about the Xbox One PC version, if it helped you get started or anything like that, please hit that like button. Uh, support my channel here and feel free to subscribe for more videos and conversation like this uh, throughout the entire week. So thank you guys so much for watching. Get started in Warframe. Have a good time. If you're looking for something to do before Destiny, this is definitely the game to try out. Uh, it's only about an 8 gig install. I think it's running 6.75 and it's a little bit more considering the patch they're about to add. Uh, and so, you know, there's that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you had a good time and feel free to uh, tell me what you think of Warframe on the Xbox One in the comments below. My name is Nick, otherwise known here as Valence, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.